Hello and welcome everybody to the fundamentals of electrical power systems for biorefinery. In the next minutes, I will give you an introduction and overview about the theme of power quality. Power quality describes the quality of the electrical power, which was defined and is defined by European Union as a product and therefore it must be described by the characteristics. The characteristics of the power quality are given in the so-called product standard EN 5160 and that is the quality or the properties of electrical energy, electrical voltage at the point of transition from the generator to the consumer. So it is at the point where we as consumers take the electricity from our electricity supplier, from the network. So there are two sides for this power quality. One is the network operator, the other is the network user. And there is a common rule that says the network users determine the quality of the power. Because, for example, if we switch on a heavy load, then the voltage will have a little dip, it will go down, and that is felt by all the other consumers, which see this as a dip in their voltage, which is a feature of the power quality. So the supply terminals like this here, the supply terminals, they are the limit and the point where power quality is defined and where it is measured. On one side we have the public electricity supply network, on the other we have the consumer's installation and the consumer's equipment. So when we take the voltage, which should be stable all the time long, it has certain deviations from its perfect form, from the perfect shape, and that is given by these power quality parameters. One of the parameters is frequency, which in our countries is more or less stable all the time. But is it, when it comes to the amplitude of the voltage, which should be stable, we have some fluctuations. So let us have a look what happens here. Why is the voltage going down to very low values, something like 10% of the voltage? That is due to a short circuit somewhere in the grid. At the point of the short circuit, the voltage goes down to zero. And in the surrounding of this point, we have some residual voltage, which is, all, which is also in the order of some 5 to 10%. And that is felt by everybody in the grid. This voltage is down as low as the short circuit current is flowing. But when it is tripped off, then the voltage recovers and we have at this point our good and perfect voltage again. So these things are called voltage dips. Another feature are the fluctuations of voltage, where we speak here about a slow variation, then there are rapid changes, there are short interruptions where the voltage is even below 1%, which is defined as the limit for interruptions. We have longer interruptions. Then there may be something like flicker, which is periodic variations of the voltage. There may be transient overvoltages and swells and sags. These are the features where the voltage is not perfect, and these are the characteristics of power, e power quality events. So one tried to classify the most important of these events, which are either outages or short interruptions. When you have an interruption in the voltage, then electrical processes no longer can take power from the electrical grid. Remember, power in electrical terms is given as the product of voltage and current. So if one of these factors is to zero, like in an interruption, we have no voltage, then the power delivered is zero. And a process will, in many cases, stop because it is not energized anymore. And therefore, these dips have been investigated. And there is this plot of the length, the time span, the time span of these dips versus the frequency of occurrence and versus the residual voltage. So let's take as an example. In the previous slide, I showed you uh, this dip due to a short circuit somewhere in the grid that is cleared after, say, one second. So, we see here the residual voltage 
is something like a few percentage and this is cleared very rapidly. So that comes to one of these columns. For example, these are faults that are cleared in a time range of 0.5 to 1 second with a residual voltage of less than 1%, for example, and they make up, in this case, they happened 100 times in a certain area where the power quality was observed. We can see here two typical things. One is the typical short interruption during a short circuit, and these here are the voltage tips with a relatively high residual voltage, so the residual voltage is high, and this occurs many, many times for short times only. So these are faults that happen somewhere far out at the grid where the voltage dip and drop does not have a big effect on myself, but it's somewhere else, but you can see it. And these faults happen many, many times. That is simply because the further fringes of the grid form a large proportion of the grid. And when it comes to the provenience, one can say that the voltage interruptions are mainly due to medium voltage grids. So that means when it comes to voltage interruptions and no loss of supply for a longer time, then you have to look into ameliorating the medium voltage grids. When it comes to voltage dips, these are the short transient events, then they come mostly from the high voltage, extra high voltage lines, for example, from flashes of lightning, when a flash of lightning goes into a line, it ignites an arc. The arc is a short circuit. We have a short circuit, a dip, and that is cleared very rapidly. So that means we have a dip, which is short time, and also in most cases is a shallow dip. So this was the chapter about power quality. The next one will be about decentralized generation. For further information and deepening instructions, please turn to the script. Thank you very much.